So today we're going to talk about the SimTrack solution and specifically how it helps with PCI compliance. To start off with, let's talk a little bit about what SimTrack is. SimTrack is an advanced integrity and compliance tool, offers real-time change detection, and also gives you options for remediating changes. Now SimTrack can recognize when a file or configuration is deleted, modified, created, uh, and it also knows when a file has been read. Now SimTrack monitors a wide variety of items that are typically found within the IT environment, including servers, databases, even VMware ESX servers. SimTrack provides more information than simply just that a change occurred and what occurred. Um, it really gives you a complete audit trail on any change. And SimTrack integrates easily with any type of SIM or logging solutions that are available. So a little bit more background about SimTrack. SimTrack was the first truly real-time file change detection system on the market. It's important to note that SimTrack does not operate by polling uh, for changes very quickly. Uh, it is truly real-time and it has a very, very low system overhead. SimTrack is the only integrity product available on the market today that has the real-time ability to remediate changes. And it has a number of very, very high-level government certifications, which we'll talk about a little bit more later. This is just an overview of the entire integrity and compliance suite. As you can see, it handles uh, a wide variety of items that are going to be typically found within your environment. Just an overview of system coverage. As you can see on the uh, coverage for servers, workstations, desktops, and point of sale systems, um, it's really, we have very, very wide coverage across the board in the type of operating systems that we are able to cover. We cover a large amount of network devices. In fact, really any network device that's out there can be covered. Uh, major databases, and we also uh, offer support through our VMware ESX configuration monitor to monitor hypervisors, uh, VMware hosts such as ESX and ESXi. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the architecture, really how SimTrack works. It's really a three component system. First we have the agent, which is actually in the case of a server, it's actually out there on the server, uh, it's actually doing the monitoring for the change. Then we have the SimTrack master repository. You can really think of this as the main database. Um, it's where the authoritative copy of the files or configurations you're watching are being stored securely. And then lastly, we have the management council. This is really just the front end of the solution. It's where you're able to centrally configure and manage the solution, and you're also able to get reports from it. Just a very, very high level overview here of doing server monitoring. Again, there's an agent running out there on the server. It's communicating back securely with the SimTrack master repository and everything is being centrally configured and managed via the SimTrack management console. Now doing monitoring of things like network devices is very similar, except that there's gonna be some intermediate host platform that's actually going to have the agent on it um, the only real requirement here is that that host platform have a direct line of communication with, uh, with the network device uh, back to the SimTrack master repository. Okay, so let's talk just a little bit about the modes of operation that SimTrack has because one of the things that makes SimTrack really, really unique is its ability to go beyond just simple logging and alerting. Uh, certainly SimTrack can just log changes um, but we also have two other main modes of operation, which really have some very unique places of where they're going to fit within the IT environment and specifically the PCI environment. So the first is our restore mode. As the name implies, you can really think about this as a change occurs, and if SimTrack, it's configured in SimTrack to remediate that change via the restore mode, uh, essentially that change is instantly reversed. It's as if the change never occurred. Uh, very, very powerful, something that's going to be very selectively deployed, um, but certainly there's certain items within the environment that this is going to be very helpful for, uh, things like application executables. 
Then we have the update baseline mode. A simple way to think about this is taking an incremental snapshot of a file or configuration as it changes and storing it. Uh, this gives you the ability to compare between uh, the snapshots or version of a file or configuration. So you might want to compare what you have today versus what you had yesterday or even a month ago. Also gives you the ability to redeploy out um, a previous version of a file or configuration. Now it's important to note that SimTrack is very, very granular in how it can operate with these modes. Um, you can even have a uh, particular directory that upon a modification to it, you may want it just to be logged. But if somebody tries to delete that directory, you may want to configure SimTrack to restore it. So it has an immense level of granularity. It's really not an all or nothing proposition with SimTrack. Let's talk a little bit about the security that SimTrack has. I like to say that SimTrack is a integrity product with inherent integrity. And that's really important when you're dealing with critical data such as PCI data. So SimTrack was originally built um, with the stringent needs of the US federal government in mind. And in fact, many of our customers are in that space. Um, the master repository holds all the files and configurations that are being monitored in a secure encrypted fashion. And all communications amongst the SimTrack components are encrypted as well. Um, another thing to point out is that there is a complete audit trail going on of all users and administrators of the solution. And that, those logs are being stored within the SimTrack master repository, and there is no way to delete those logs. So there's no possible way that you could have somebody go into the solution, whether they're a user or an administrator, and cover their tracks from some change that they made on a system, um, effectively preventing a situation uh, such as an evil admin. So specifically, how does SimTrack help you meet PCI requirements? Well, if you're going to be monitoring things like servers or workstations, POS systems, you're going to need file integrity monitoring and that is required by sections 10.5.5 and 11.5 and SimTrack definitely has that covered. Now if you add network device monitoring to SimTrack, um, you're also going to be able to cover uh, parts of section 1 such as 1.1.1 where it talks about monitoring firewall configurations SimTrack can certainly also fit into Section 6 under the change control processes. And with its unique restore mode, it can also fit into Section 12. Now that's with the core SimTrack product. But there's also another very unique module that is part of the entire SimTrack suite. And that's our SimTrack PCI configuration monitor. To explain this a little bit more, it's for Windows systems. And it's looking at between, depending on the version of Windows, between 80 and 120 different Windows configuration settings which are mapped back to sections 2, 3, 5, and 8 of the PCI DSS. What this allows you to do is quickly scan your system and get a report on whether it is in those configurations, I should say, are in a PCI compliant state. This is really helpful for initial tuning of a system to make sure that the configurations are compliant and also to continuously monitor the system to make sure that no configurations change, thus making you uncompliant or non-compliant with PCI DSS. Now SimTrack provides a very low total cost of ownership, not only in price, but in its ease of use. And that's really important for companies that are looking to save money and also have a product that is simple and easy for their users and administrators to use. And now I'm going to hand it over to Dave Wheeler, one of our sales engineers, who's going to actually walk you through the SimTrack product. Using the SimTrack Integrity and Compliance Suite for PCI configuration monitoring and system auditing is a useful approach at maintaining PCI compliance. For instance, Making changes to files, such as the host file, will be detected in real time. In this situation, I'm making a modification to the host file, simply adding an additional IP address. In SimTrack, SimTrack has been logging this information based on the configuration policy that I have specified. 
for instance, at this date and time, a file has been detected as being modified with a corrective action of monitor only. SimTrack provides information such as which system the change took place on, the user account on the system who made the change, and the file that was affected by the change. Additionally, when SimTrack is invoked in a restoration capability mode, all changes will automatically be remediated. Use of this restoration mode is completely voluntary by system administrators. For instance, I will again modify the host's file. I'll go ahead and add a fictitious IP address redirect. Go ahead and save. Now since SimTrack is in a restore mode, if I go back into the modified file, you can see that the change has been automatically remediated without any user intervention. The event log for restore mode also displays that a file has been modified. This time the corrective action is a replace from repository. In other words, the change has been automatically remediated. Again, we provide information relating to the system the change is detected on, the user account responsible for making the change, the system path of what was affected, and in this situation, a remediation time. Additionally, if I go to the change log, I get additional information related to this event. We're showing you the process that was used to make the change, the process ID, and the associated thread ID. Right-clicking on any change will provide you with additional information in the context menu. You can simply view a change. In this case, here is the fictitious line we added. You can compare a change with the known state at the time of the intrusion. In other words, compare it with the authoritative copy or the original of the file. Scrolling down. Microsoft.com. As you can see, the original on the left, the modified version on the right, any lines that have been detected as a change, such as our digital signature and file size, will be highlighted in blue. Any lines that were detected as an ad, such as our Microsoft.com line, will be highlighted in green. Any lines that were deleted will be highlighted in red. Additionally, in the context menu, you have the capability to download a copy of the file or to view forensic data associated with the file. If this file had been made via a network share and was a remote intrusion, we'd provide you with a list of all IP addresses that were connected to the share at the time of the change. Additionally, if this change had been monitored in a update baseline mode, we'd create incremental snapshots of every change associated with this watch policy as subrevisions. You would then be able to compare between different subrevisions or even at the click of a button, roll back to a previous subrevision. Using SimTrack in a log-only mode will help satisfy PCI DSS requirement 10.5.5 and 11.5. Additionally, using SimTrack in the restoration mode will satisfy incident response section 12 of the PCI DSS. SimTrack also has the capability to monitor network device configurations to help satisfy PCI requirements section 1.1.1. In this situation, I'm monitoring a Cisco ASA firewall. Any changes made to the configuration on this Cisco firewall will be detected by SimTrack. When configured, SimTrack can automatically restore the configuration on this network device or simply update the baseline. Additionally, SimTrack simply has the capability to log as well if invoked. Any change to the running config or startup config on any monitored Cisco devices will be detected by SimTrack. In this situation, I'm simply going to modify the host name of the device. Currently, the host name is set as Cisco 5505. Go ahead and modify the host name. Change it to test123. Write it back to the device. Monitoring of most network devices in SimTrack is based at a poll interval that you specify. Rather than wait for my poll interval to expire, I'm going to force synchronize the folder right now to check the current running config and startup config settings against the known baseline stored in the SimTrack master repository. Once the device is synchronized, if I return to the event log, just like with file system monitoring, you can see that we've detected some changes. In this case, a device configuration has changed at the specified date and time. 
We have an in update baseline mode, therefore the baseline has been updated. Scrolling to the right, we show the path and file of what has been modified, in this case the startup config. Also, we detect the changes to the running config, and information is displayed identically. Referring to the change log, additional information is available by right-clicking on any stored change. Again, you can compare a change with the authoritative copy at the, at the time of the change. In this case, the original on the left showing Cisco 5505. The modified version on the right saying test 123. As with the file system, if I navigate to the generation tab, I have the capability to compare across other generations or simply deploy back a previous generation. By deploying back a previous generation, any changes made on that network device within its running configuration and startup configuration since the last baseline check will be automatically remediated. SimTrack also has the capability to monitor PCI configuration settings. PCI configuration settings exist in the Windows Registry, local security policy, and additional locations throughout the operating system. SimTrack checks these settings and compares with known best practices to determine whether or not your system is compliant with audit requirements. SimTrack scans the configurations on your system at a polling interval that you specify. Any settings that have changed between polling intervals will show up in SimTrack's integrated event logs. Additionally, SimTrack has the capability to perform a mini audit on your system to show is your system compliant if audit time were to come at this point. For example, here's an example of a completed PCI compliance report. We show the date and time that the report was run. We show an overall compliance status, in this case a fail. We show the number of systems scanned, the compliant number of systems, and the non-compliant number of systems. Additionally, we provide a very user-friendly pie chart showing the percentage of compliant settings versus non-compliant settings. For each system that was scanned, we provide a detailed list of all settings that were checked on that system. For instance, for this particular system, the compliance status is a fail. We checked a total of 118 settings, of which 54 were compliant and 64 were non-compliant. For each setting, we provide you with details on what was checked. For instance, this particular setting relating to section 2.2.2 .2 is checking the startup mode associated with Bluetooth support services. The compliance status for this setting is a fail. Currently, the value on this system is set to manual. In the enterprise, generally users will use this report to view the compliant versus non-compliant settings associated with their system. Non-compliant settings will then be modified by the user based on best practices to match a compliant state. Reports ran for PCI compliance auditing can be saved for local reference. 